Hi guys, welcome back to the farm. My name is Kira and this is my burst coin mining rig. I've been working on this for a few days now and uh, you can see it's come along pretty well. Uh, I had a previous video where I talked about putting the motherboard on my uh, case from Home Depot and uh, now you can see uh, I've expanded it quite a bit and uh, it's actually got a, a couple things changed like the motherboard I switched out for a Asus ROG uh, Crosshair Hero 6. Uh, which was the original board I intended to use for burst coin mining, but I had to prove that it was actually the board I wanted to use. And um, the hardware proved itself. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the videos. Uh, there's quite a few, and we're just going to uh, skip right through them so you kind of see how I put this thing together. So this thing is uh, ready to go, I think. Uh, it's kind of haphazard, but uh, this is just temporary. We need to prove that uh, all these things can stay connected. And so I plugged it in, and I've got it connected to the network so that I can remote in. Um, anyways, let's give it a go. And let's see if you guys can hear the massive revving of all of these hard drives. We'll see. Well, let's hope this works. Let's hope the power doesn't go out. Okay, where is the pin? is the sound of hard drive mining. Uh, I think I need to flip a switch. There we go. Pretty good. They're all online. So with the hard drives all connected and everything powered on, I was able to get uh, Windows 10 running and I was able to get the Burst uh, J Miner running. And it's working pretty good, uh, especially with the uh, GPU unit, it's able to process about 1700 uh, megabytes per second, which I think is pretty reasonable considering the system. Uh, early on I identified that the GPU was a bottleneck, it was an i7-2600K, um, it just wasn't processing enough hashes. Uh, so using the GPU, this is a uh, Strix GTX 960, uh, and it's overclocked a little. It can actually uh, pull its weight pretty well and get through the drives pretty fast. Um, and I wasn't previously planning to overclock it, but overclocking it definitely helps uh, the speed a little bit. Uh, when I'm looking at my rig, I'm aiming for about 30 seconds to run the block and uh, this is hitting it pretty close. I'm kind of waiting for uh, the extra drives to arrive for this rig and we're going to see if we can push this thing even further. So that's it for today's episode everyone. I really appreciate you watching my video and hope you'll like and subscribe. Uh, I plan to release up more videos about burst mining and cryptocurrency in general. 
in the near future. Um, I still have a lot more to do with this particular series about building a rig with external hard drives. There's a lot of room for optimization here. The cables are a mess. Um, the power supply is not even here yet. Uh, hopefully it's coming later today and I can work on installing that. It's going to be a custom solution. It's going to be really cool. I hope you'll join me again and check it out. So until next time, see you guys later.